Hello, everyone. Good afternoon and warm welcome to the Do Big webinar session on hosted outbound dialers, hosted by Tata Telebusiness Services, along with Frost and Sullivan as the knowledge partner. Quick introduction here. I'm Parminder Kaur, principal consultant with the information communication and technology team at Frost and Sullivan, and I will be the moderator for today's session. Let me just start by walking you through the agenda and theme for today's session on hosted outbound dialers. So lead generation or demand generation, as you know, in today's industry is one of the most crucial elements to support sales and marketing functions, and it strongly impacts the business across industries. Enterprises need to strongly and constantly engage with target customers, showcasing the value proposition of their products and services. However, reaching out to customers and identifying the business potential is a cumbersome task. Telemarketers often find it difficult to manage large marketing campaigns that includes large volumes of calls to customers. This requires a right customer mapping strategy along with the right set of tools that can analyze the agent efficiency and productivity and also in turn, you know, give business benefits to the enterprises. Keeping in mind the challenges faced by the business heads, telemarketers and service agents Outbound dialers are designed today to ease up the outbound marketing calling in more automated, predictive and convenient way. Through today's webinar session, not only the IT, but also the business and marketing heads would benefit and also be able to align their IT priorities to move towards implementing an automated outbound dialing solution that would benefit their enterprises. So in short, what we will also cover today is, you know, understanding what is an outbound dialer and how the concept of hosted outbound dialers is maturing today. Knowing what kind of dialers are available today to meet your business requirements and also at a larger level, understanding what are the trends across industries and enterprise segments in India towards the adoption of hosted outbound dialers. So uh, just you know, setting up some rules during the webinar, we will be having some poll questions where we would like to engage with you and also understand your thoughts. So I would request you to kindly provide your inputs when we do the polling questions. We would also open this session for a Q&A towards the end of the session. But in case you have questions, you can keep writing to us uh, during the session. So I would now like to introduce the speakers for today's session. We have Mr. Rajar Sridhar, who leads the you know, uh, unified communication and collaboration practice as an industry analyst from Frost and Sullivan. He's also a subject matter expert expert for UC and Connect centers. We also have with us the product manager for hosted outbound dialers, Mr. Mahindra Visaukar from the Tata Tele Business Services team, who also support us during the Q&A session if you have any queries at that point in time. So without taking much time, you know, Rajeshri, I hand this to you to, you know, walk us through this session today on hosted outbound dialers. Thank you, Parminder. That was really nice. Thanks for the brief introduction. So let me first say hello to everyone. I first let me thank you all for taking out time from your busy schedule and be part of this webinar session. Today, we are going to uh, understand what is a hosted outbound dialer is. What is the benefits does it have? Why should enterprises actually use a hosted outbound dialer? And what are the various cases, use cases you will have? So before we proceed, let me just quickly introduce myself. So I have been working with Frost for the last two years almost, and I bring to the table around seven years of overall experience working for the technology or the digital transformation domain, working with large enterprises as, as well as several users. So before we proceed and get into the understanding of what an hosted outbound dialer is, let us start by setting the context right. If you typically look into an enterprise, what are the various units or departments that you see? You would find a team of people who handles HR, team of people who would be handling finance, operations, sales and marketing, and then you would also have people who would be into manufacturing or operations. But among this, which are the most important people for the enterprise? Well, each of them have their role to play, don't they? Yes, they do have. But when I say that, I think the most important, one of the very, the, the most important people who does the job for the enterprise is the people in the sales and the marketing team. The reason I tell that, I tell this because these are the people who actually frontline for the company or the enterprise in front of your customers. So they are the first line of representation for you 
it to make any kind of value proposition to the customer so that's the reason i feel they are one of the key important people now typically if you see a sales and marketing process within an enterprise that can happen in two ways one through an inbound sales or second could be an outbound sales so inbound sales is is very much uh, straightforward where the customer reaches out to you and you give him a solution or you actually propose a product to him the outbound sales is where i think the customer has to be reached out and the enterprise puts in its effort to do so so what there are two ways of you can do a outbound sales so an outbound sales can happen through a face to face meeting and again through a telephonic meeting now we all know how cumbersome or how difficult it is to arrange a face to face meeting with the customers the reason is very obvious it's not necessary that the customer would be available to meet you in person at the location or neither would your your sales or your marketing team would be able to meet him so that's indeed a really challenging job now so what's the other option left the other option left is it telemarketing so is which is like a tele sales so here what happens is the agent or the enterprise reaches out to the customer with his bag of product or services where it shows to the customer over a telephone line typically a voice call so there are different versions of having a telecall or there are very perceptions people have very very various arguments and how effective or is a telecall or a telemarketing is we believe that it is one of the very important reasons of a success for an enterprise the reasons are very obvious let's look into this slide as you can see what the research says is around 68% of all b2b sales happens through some kind of human interaction and when i say that tele sales and or telemarketing is one of them the reason being again the customer can be reached out much easily without any hassle to it so key human interaction is key to it and again when we speak with people who actually are being called so these are typically the your, your customers or your potential customers they are not so worried about having a telephone conversation for any kind of product or service that you sell now this is what is is the output that we get not only from the mid market or the small enterprise but again from the large enterprise which are typically the fortune 500 companies so these are typically the trend setters so one thing for sure is while doing a sales human interaction is the key and to do the reason it, it you cannot ignore the fact that a customer would like to understand from you or hear from a human being rather than actually interacting with the system so let's look in what are the key benefits of having a a telemarketing process so as we as we know that since we were discussing about how human interaction is key this is one of the key takeaways and that is the reason actually why telemarketing has actually been one of the success factors here you being an enterprise you interact with the customer and you get a better clarity as to what the customer demands what is his objectives of buying the product and then even accordingly position your product so this gives you a first hand data or actually of of value proposing or proposing any kind of service to your product to a customer again when you dial up your customer when you reach out to a customer over phone this it's when it's very much measurable the reason i call it measurable because you know end of the day today you have 100 agents who are making cost calls to x number of customers and by end of the day you can actually know to how many people did the agent reach out to how many people was actually who with he can actually speak up or or propose the product and how many uh, customers actually gave up go ahead with regarding or showed showed their interest in buying the product so this is a measurability factor that you get very easily for a telephonic sales conversation that you have again when you create this rapport with this customer while you are interacting with you can again it becomes a very easy mode of cross selling or off selling the products maybe you reach out to a customer for some selling or x product while you see the customer would be interested in buying a y product that's again a, maybe a ball is in the enter basket that you have and since it's a telephonic conversation you don't have to physically reach out to the customer and do a face to face interaction so it actually cuts down on the cost several several times and it again is again is a factor of time also because you don't have to take the pains or effort to reach out to the customer so in a nutshell 
telemarketing is again one of the very key or one of the most well accepted marketing uh, mo modes present today as in india but there are certainly challenges to it so what are the challenges that enterprises today face so these challenges can be both at an operations level or could be at a technical level so what are the challenges so we at frost and sullivan actually have figured out there are seven key challenges so these are larger challenges that the enterprises talk about there may be the smaller ones as well but these are the larger ones so what are they really worried about they say when normally a region reach out to a customer there are cases where the customer is un is not reachable or he is not picking up the call so in today's world where where you have several options of knowing the caller but you know actually who the caller is so there are ways of actually how the customer gets to know who is calling and then that becomes a challenge for the enterprise because the customer is not picking up the call second since when the agent calls the customer he doesn't have an access as to what's the status of this customer is he actually using this product or has he ever bought anything from the from you so you don't have a visibility of or the history of the customer and maybe you have to rely entirely on a hard copy of a print out that is the maximum you could do because you don't have an inter integration with the system the third one challenge that you have is like there are a lot of compliance issues so when i say that it's typically the dnd do not disturb mode there are a lot of customers who are enrolled into this service from telecom provider and he doesn't want to be reached out to but your agent since is not having a visibility about the customer he may reach out to which may land you to a case where the customer may actually take a legal way so these are few of the key challenges that customers today face at a larger level again when i say that end of the day when the business manager that the person whom to whom the agents actually report to he has actually no clue as to how many agents were today on the call how many customers were reached out to and in a nutshell it gives him in a blank spot where he has no idea about what the status of the campaign so what are we actually proposing so we are proposing maybe not an x 360 degree solution but it's one of the very key uh, important solutions that enterprises may look out to so we are talking about something called the outbound dialer so what is an outbound dialer let's look into it so outbound dialer is typically a way of automating calls for your for reaching out to customer so if i have to put it in other words it's actually increases agent productivity by way of automatically calling from a list of telephone numbers with the agents without the agent's manual intervention this means that the agent doesn't have to dial in or punch in any numbers or a system to reach out to the customer the system does it for you and that has several benefits yes it does have several benefits the reasons are let us call out the what are the various benefits that you as an enterprise or as a business head or as an it decision maker would get out of it so you are actually moving a step ahead towards automating your operations processes you are decreasing the the level of errors or that would be there if there's an in manual intervention into it so you are actually decreasing that factor by several times if you are automating this processes you are again since you are reaching out to a system which is a software typically this this software will increase its it, it, it since it's very highly efficient and and that actually increases productivity of the uh, agent this the reachability of the target to target audience increases again the several times so the performance of the agent which was initially a uh, question comes down by several folds so this actually the system would help you better get up over an understanding or automating your overall marketing or telemarketing processes to a larger extent but when we say that there are certain players we have to understand who are actually providing these services typically this service is being provided by two kind of players one is the contact center vendors and second is the service providers now this contact center vendors are typically players who give you a on premise kind of deployment where you have to install the software in you know, on premise so that comes at a pretty high cost and you have to take a certain little to a certain level of pens to it so which is a typical on premise deployment now what we are referring to is as a service provider segment so which is the hosted 
or the cloud-based services. We all have been talking about it for quite some time now about hosted or cloud computing or how do you actually benefit from the SaaS based model. So these are the providers, the service providers, which are typically the cloud telephony providers or the telcos, the telecom service providers who provide you the service of a hosted outbound dialer or a outbound dialer, yes. Now let's look into what are the key components that actually constitute the outbound dialer. Before we don't go into this right now, because moving ahead, we will deep dive into it a bit more. But to call out at this moment, the various five features that we point out is a call pacing option, the ability to, to manage campaigns, a customized solution for the customer, a contact blending where you actually is uh, aligning or uh, tying up all the channels or, or what you call the omni channel before your marketing efforts. So what are the various types of outbound dialers? So there are typically four types of outbound dialers. Now let's look into each of them one. First is the preview dialer. So what is a preview dialer? The preview dialer is typically a, a kind of dialer where before the agent reaches out to the customer, the agent has been showed the history or what is the status of the customer. So this is typically a case where is been used by the banks or maybe the uh, insurance companies where a customer has taken a loan and he has a history to it or maybe a payment history to it and he and the agent wants to reach out to him so this is typically a way where the agent reaches out to a customer using a preview dialer here the options that the agent has is that he would have an access to time the call so for example he decides to, that i will make the call to the next customer in next 5 15 minutes and he can actually decide that and again if he wants to skip on that he can do that so that is a preview dialer now what is a progressive dialer a progressive dialer is something where the system dials into the customer back to back so this is used in cases where there's an upsell or cross sell of product where the customer is already using it and the system what it does is it dials the customer and maybe at certain point in time in few cases it may happen that the customer is not picking up the call or he's not reachable so in that case, the system automatically disconnects the call after X number of rings at the customer phone, or maybe after three seconds or five seconds of if, if the phone is not reachable. So this increases the efficiency of the agent. The third type of dialer is called the predictive dialer, which is the most commonly used dialer system today in the market. The predictive dialer is very much similar to a progressive dialer, but there's a difference to it. It's again a very back-to-back -back calling it does where uh, the customer is been reached out by the agent but what happens is that there would be cases where the call has finished and the and the agent is wrapping up the notes wrapping up the call by writing the notes in the meantime the system actually dials into the next customer with, thereby shorting down the turnaround time for each customer so this is being typically used for customer basis where there's a where there's a very straightforward product and you know this is the list of customers and you have to propose the same kind of product or service to him which doesn't need much of thinking or call to action so this is a third type of dialer the fourth type of dialer is something of the power dialer so the power dialer has been in the market for quite some time now at least to the over the last 20 30 years now so it has it's it's a bit outdated in the in the the, the reason being it doesn't have an integration to it uh, to the computer terminal or it doesn't have an integration to a CRM. So it is one of the oldest ways of dialing dialers, so which is the power dialer. Now let's look quickly look into what are the use cases of each of this. I have touched base about the preview dialer. Now let's look into a progressive dialer as to where does it is being used. It's been used in cases where you find that there is the customer is already using it and then again the customer has to be has been used to it and you want to do some kind of upselling or cross selling so that is a point where you use a progressive dialer again as i was telling you a predictive dialer is being used for very straightforward kind of products so these are the various use cases that you find for any kind of outbound dialers the four types now we should understand why should enterprises in today's world adopt an outbound dialer so the reasons being are very simple. Let's look into this. If you let's look into what's what's happening in the enterprise space today. If you look around, be it the large enterprise or the upper mid market kind of enterprises, everybody is talking about the digital transformation story. So what are they trying to do? They're actually trying to automate 
things they were buying, trying to tie up the loose knots or the loose points and then integrate with a single point of control so what how is it getting affected to the sales and marketing concept or the telemarketing concept let for that let's look into the steps that's been involved now in a, a marketing or a sales uh, initiative would require four steps one is understanding the need of the market what does the custom market need second then you position the product you have to understand the market need and then you go ahead and position your product again what you do is now is align your business processes to the needs of the market and what you have to propose to the customer and four is generating a value to the customer but what's important in the context of an outbound dialer is actually tying up the knots the tying up of the market needs the positioning of the product and again the value you generate for the customer that is very much possible with the help of an outbound dialer the reason being you know what the customer is using and it becomes a single point of control for in, to a larger marketing goal but when you say digital transformation what is the key to it the key to it or the crux to it is business process optimization everybody is thinking about it, everybody is speaking about it, every cio meet everybody is talking about it. the reason being everybody wants to actually optimize their business processes and they want to maximize their outcomes and how do they do so they do so by cutting down cost putting pulling in automation doing a better workforce management and thereby again cutting down on the or the turnaround time for any kind of sales that happens so that is again possible with the use of an outbound dialer now an outbound dialer can be used again through an on premise model as well as a hosted model now everybody has been speaking about the benefits that a hosted or a cloud based model brings let's look into that how does that fit into the service story now let's look into the concept of cloud or a hosted outbound dialer in this hosted concept of outbound dialing you don't have to do any kind of on premise installations you don't have to configure because it's it's very much easy to configure at your end it's has it's been managed entirely by the service provider and again since it's been managed by the service provider any kind of next updates or auto updates that's been taken care of by the service provider the why i call out this as the key advantages because whenever you speak to any on premise deployment kind of thing you will often see this enterprises have been speaking about what are the challenges they face they they say they face challenges in terms of hardware cost and in terms of ease of configuration and they they say that it's not easy at all they don't get the support from the oem vendor and those things but when you work with a hosted or cloud based service provider cloud service provider or who is something who's giving the saas based model you would get that benefit out of it so apart from this key four there are other benefits what they are typically you have a minimum tco the total cost of ownership goes down several miles you have a roi that you realize very easily you have a 24 by 7 anytime downtime you will be this will be attended any point in time you need any assistance you get access to it and then again a real time access to the mis dashboard now mis dashboard again is one of the key features to it so we were talking about this key feature right so i called up the key feature mis dashboard being if you see in this in this column on the left mis dashboard which is the dashboard of the reporting on log management this would help you as business manager to reach out to the customer in terms of giving in terms of understanding what's the status of your total marketing campaign is so let me give an example so a typical example could be like you have x number of agents and x number of agents are giving y number of calls to, today so you want to know by end of the day maybe at 6 pm for the day when business hours are over you would like to sit in your system and look Uh, tend to do an analysis as to okay i had today x number of agents and they were making y number of calls so what was the total calls that happened today how many people were reached out to what were the products they were pitched in where do i see this which is the demand most demand product that they have pitched in how was how is the reaction from the customers so these are the things you can do using a dashboard again at an agent level you can understand as to one when did an agent log in when did he log out what are the breaks that he did so these are the, again a fuel level dashboard level or a 
analytics driven things that you can do also you can do a call to action to it a way like you want to improve on your processes you can take insights from this kind of reporting and then improve on it so this is what a dashboard reporting or analytics can do for you through our obd solution again in terms of campaign management what you can do is actually managing the campaign you know actually how to manage the campaign if you want to start the campaign when you want to stop it if you want to modify it at any point in time you find that this is this campaign is not working fine how do i change it he, you can do it by using a campaign management again if you want to use up you can if you want to propose a specific or a customized solution or product to your customer you can do it is use a customized outreach so in a nutshell this gives a several it has an it has a reach to several types or several levels of features that you can leverage using a obd solution so what i say this these features and then uh, leveraging the benefits then tying up with the crm all this can be can be done if it, if you have a central point of control now when i say that so if you go back or if you can recollect what i said in initially while my uh, at the beginning of this webinar i said that single point of control or single management or single console is very important and this obd actually plays a role for it it becomes a single point of control for the entire uh, or a larger marketing efforts that i put in if you for example if you want to control your different channels your uh, like an instant messaging if you want to integrate with an email if you want to shift it through with your within your enterprise to a different customer base if you want to actually integrate chat or an sms to it you can do this you can all manage this using this obd solution or and that comes that could be done very easily on a hosted model which comes at a very negligible cost again since it's a hosted or a cloud based model there is a scalability factor to it today maybe you will have you have 100 agents to it and tomorrow you want to scale it up on 500 maybe due to some reason maybe as a seasonal uptake or maybe due to some trend that you see in the market that you can do very fast and you don't have to think of investing large volumes of money to it uh, to do that uh, uh, flexibility thing again this can be integrated with the crm with your erp or your customer database and that could be easily be done by a single point of control that is your OBD. So in a nutshell, what I'm saying is, is this OBD not only eases up or automates your processes, this again becomes a single point of control for managing a lot of your marketing efforts. So before we proceed, uh, let's look into or let me hear from you as to what are your perceptions about one of the questions that we have. So Parminder, if you can take up this poll for the, with the audience. Okay, surely, thank you, Rajashri, for walking us through this initial concept of dialers, uh, you know, that help overcome many, you know, traditional challenges today that are associated with telemarketing. With, see, with resource optimization in mind and so many benefits associated with, you know, the hosted outbound dialers, we certainly see this as a boon for marketing and demand generation programs. And also, you know, slowly with automation and cloud coming together, it shows that, you know, digital transformation vision of the company, you know, to reality. But one more thing to notice here is that, you know, with the changing business models, most enterprises today have varying business. So what is it that is really important to you uh, is something that we would like to know to where to see where the solution is more, you know, acceptable. I'm launching this quick poll for you. Yeah. So let us know your views, your perspective as to why would you like to use a hosted outbound solution for your enterprise? Are you looking at it primarily for you know a new sales opportunity are you talking about payment reminders or you know taking some confirmation or booking status updating your enterprises about it your customers about it you know are you talking about you know engaging with them through a proactive customer service uh, you know kind of a you know need or you're talking about a feedback mechanism so where customer satisfaction survey really becomes very very important so there are different perspectives and different ways to look at you know using hosted outbound solution today We've been hearing from Rajeshri on the perspective of, you know, creating a new, you know, you know, sales lead or demand gen kind of a program. However, as we understand, the models are really changing very fast. So what is it that is really very, very important to you or for your industry today? I'm glad to see, you know, the percentage, you know, of people who have voted in. I request a few more, uh, you know, votes to come in. 
another few seconds before we, uh, you know, close this poll and, uh, you know, give you the results. Uh, I, I see more people voting in. So it, it, any more, I think seems good for now. And I'm glad to, you know, share this as so our perspective and as we see about 68 percent of you say that you know it is very important for from a new sales opportunity or to cross sell or upsell you know, the solution while 14 percent of you are talking about a customer satisfaction survey and approximately nine percent each are talking about a proactive customer service or you know payment reminders which truly brings in the perspective you know and as the voting result shows that irrespective of the industry that you belong to right any of the best you know any of these above really best fits into your requirements so we're not talking about the traditional mechanisms of or, or the traditional needs of, of only identifying sales opportunities where the solution can be used today but you know there is a growing need to streamline customer experience which could again be in the form of either you know taking these payment reminders running a customer service or a customer satisfaction program right so uh, that that's exactly you know the kind of flavor that the hosted outbound solution you know really brings to your desk much beyond just looking at it from a demand generation program but certainly that is one of the largest you know you know needs that we've seen from enterprises today so thank you for you know taking up this poll and i hand it back to you rajeshi for taking us through you know the next end user adoption trends for the hosted outbound tenders thank you parvinder and thanks everyone for voting in as you rightly said it's it's today we are in a world where you cannot neglect customer experience or getting to hear from customers Today, to be in the system, to be in the business, you have to hear from the customer. And for that, you need to engage with him. And a good engagement model can be with the use of an outbound dialer, which is typically is, is a very useful kind of solution. So, but before we proceed further, let me actually, let us actually understand how is the end user adoption. So we heard from you, but let's understand how is it being uh, adopted across the various industry verticals. So this slide would actually focus on the key industry verticals where we see there's an adoption of outbound dialer solutions. So all across, among all the industry verticals, what we refer to, we see there is an uptake certainly for financial services, insurance, which includes insurance and banking, and for retail companies. And they are using it for typically for larger, strong telemarketing and service focus. So when we say service focus, this is typically the, it's, it's very much similar to the voting analysis that we had is more of customer engagement programs. So how does an insurance, let's take, let's take just one, one of the key industry verticals as an example. How does an OBD solution fit in in an insurance company? So insurance companies, it could be like they would be using it for their proactive telemarketing or sales, direct sales process. That could be, again, be a way of understanding from hearing back from the customer for dinging, doing any kind of payment demand. So the insurance industry or the cards industry for that matter has a lot of uh, payment due lines where the customers act actually are not aware of. So you can run an OBD solution to, and reach out to the customer where you can propose or act actually let the customer know this is the deadline and this is the amount. And that can be done using a OBD solution. Again, there are in the industry verticals who are using, you, for example, utility segment or the healthcare segment, they're using each of these outbound dialers for other ways, maybe for any kind of informing the customer about our downtime or any kind of outage of services or refill of prescriptions, or there could be any alerts for any kind of, for example, there's a sale going on within a retail, within the retail industry and you want the customer to be known, uh, be heard about it. You can use the outbound solution to do a mass campaign for that. But again, we have to understand that there is a certain segment of outbound dialer that can be used as a part of pre-recorded voice messages. So what is the pre-recorded voice message? The pre-recorded voice message is, is something like you deliver a recorded message to the customer and the customer would actually think like it is a very customized uh, message that's been uh, delivered by the enterprise. So this is this pre-recorded voice message is been done by these marketing companies in terms of reaching out to larger mass. So again, it's been used by some other use cases, maybe within within the political framework where they do a lot of political, political campaigns. Again, it has been used for any kind of delivering customized voicemails. So the reason why should this be used as a pre-recorded method of broadcasting voice messages 
is because if you have to reach out or if you have to tell the same message to 100 people or 10,000, 1,000 people for that matter, it will take a huge amount of time and effort from you being an enterprise to deliver the same message and without giving any kind of fruitful outcome. So this using this outbound dialer, you can reach out to the customer delivering that message and without much of wasting much of much of agent time. So this significantly increases the efficiency of the, of the agent. So how do you do this? It is just a very simple way of three steps. First, you plan your message that you want to deliver. For example, you want to deliver some message regarding a sale that's going on within our retail industry. You just have to record that message. Then what you have to do is to load it within the messenger, plan it, record it, and load it within the messenger so that it can be delivered as the final step to the audience. The best part of it, of this outbound dialer, using the outbound dialer to deliver a pre-recorded voice matches is that you want to customize it. So for example, within an uh, industry vertical, you have five set of customers with five different sets of uh, needs. So you can actually preload those five set of ma uh, messages targeting for each of them and you can deliver it. And again, this since it, it, it is, has an option of DTMF integration where the customer would be actually be available to give his or her feedback about the product or what he thinks about that can be recorded within the system and can be recorded on a cloud storage which can be accessed by you as a as an enterprise to understand what has the customers have to say so this is again a very big very interesting use case for any kind of pre-recorded voice messages now uh, how do we see the, what's the use case of of an um, outbound dollar we say, if you see on the left, this pie chart, you will see around 48 to 50% is been used for generating new or cross-sale or upsell of products. But as interestingly as you rightly voted, 23% of the customers says they want to use an or they use a pro outbound solution for proactive customer service. You want to engage with the customer with no financial motives. You don't want to sell, but for the hearing from the customer, the feedback of the product, that this 23% of the customers are actually using it for such purpose. But it is also important we have to understand as to why we have several of these features, it's good to have to know, but the problem comes when we have to select from a bunch of maybe 10 or 15. It really becomes a tough job. So how do you do it? Let's look into that. How can you actually select the right service provider? So a few things what we think should, you, should, you as an enterprise should consider while choosing a service provider. The service provider while you choose should have a service which has been managed end to end by them. You should not take the trouble of managing it at your end because your goal is to sell the product or to focus on the product or to position the product. Your time and effort should not be putting in, in managing the solution or the outbound solution. So you have to find out a service provider who manages it easily. You have to find out who gives this service 24 by 7. Again, this who actually will help you measure the output of, a, of the agent who will actually have an MIS dashboard to it. So these are few of the factors that you have to select while choosing a service provider. But what are the key broad features that you need to look into the key product features? So we find these are the top five product features you need to have something uh, you have to have a manageability of the campaign. You should have a hands on your controlling the campaign as to how to design it well, how do you launch it, if you want to modify it, you can do all those things. You can, you should be able to track the campaign. Again, there should be a way of understanding on measuring the output or the measuring the efficiency of the, all of the agents. So in a nutshell, these are the five key parameters or product features you need to look into while selecting the service provider. But let's look into as to, while there are several ways or different various product features or aspects to an OBD solution. Let's understand what's the state today and what's going to be tomorrow. So you, on the X axis, if you see is the degree of effort that you or the service provider has to put in, in integrating it within your ecosystem. On the Y axis, you can see is the effect on a business. So if you see, for example, personal callback, it would require a very less degree of effort and equally it would have a lesser amount of effort on your business or customer engagement program. But if you say a high use of an AI, artificial intelligence, it's really tough to integrate an AI tool to your OBD. It's not, it's, by the way, it's possible. It's possible, it, it, uh, there are vendors who are thinking of doing it, 
maybe may have not been successful, but someday we will see that being integrated. So there is a high use of UI that's likely, but that's tough and that would give you a higher rate of impact or high degree of impact for, in the, for your overall business or customer engagement program. So this would, this chart actually depicts the metrics between the degree of effort you need to put in and the effect that you get within the business and customer engagement. CRM for that matter, reporting, these require moderate effort and this will certainly have a moderate kind of impact on the business. So before we proceed further, let's take the second poll for the day. So Parminder, if you can take for the second poll quickly. Thank you, Rajashree, you know, for throwing light on these critical aspects that I say of selecting a service provider. And your last chart typically talks about that entire journey about, you know, how the development has happened over the years in the outbound dialers, which is very interesting and shows itself, you know, a, a good market for the dialers. So the role of telecom service providers, you know, today has changed beyond offering telecom, you know, just the vanilla telecom services, if I may say. Technology is also changing rapidly, giving enterprises, you know, very little time to make significant ROI from the CapEx investments, you know, where they've been spending a lot today. At times, it is difficult for the enterprises to justify the financial or the business outcomes of some of the CapEx based, you know, investments to the stakeholders. And that is where, you know, we see a lot of shift and the power moving to the telecom service providers today. Uh, enterprises are very keen today if you know wh while we engage with a lot of these enterprises very keen today to change their technology partners and evaluate a service provider for a variety of services and what they really expect them in you know is to come with a hosted set of applications and you know bundle their you know uh, telecom services you know on top of it right so you know while as i've been talking you know uh, you know since some time that you know the enterprises needs have really changed which has really changed the entire model or the business proposition you know for the enterprises it is very important for us you know to also understand you know what is it that is you know most compelling or most uh, you know important factor as per you for selecting a service provider today so are you looking at you know the service provider offering you convenient you know solution or you know good features and you know probably you know you know, they'll be ready with the latest, uh, you know, technology as they offer these services to you. Or, you know, should they really, you know, be, you, you prefer them to have a mechanism to kind of measure the agent productivity through the solution? Or is it important for you to look at the scalability of the solution? So when I talk about uh, the scalability, I'm talking about the seamless addition of, you know, more agents or better integration to multiple databases. Or is it very important to look at the cost of the service? You know, where I'm talking about a pay per use being a more economical, you know, model to look at. So I'm looking forward to your, you know, polls and to your feedback here so that, you know, we can look at what should be that really important thing when you're evaluating a service provider today. I see a good number of votes already. Some of you are yet to take the poll. Quick, you know, uh, 10 seconds and, you know, we should have, it's great to see the votes increasing. Almost 50% of you are there, you know, uh, casting your vote. Sure. So as I close this poll and, you know, where 58 uh, percent almost i think some of you are still voting so i'll just give that quick second so i'm glad to see this poll has more responses than the previous poll almost 60 i see some more coming in okay so i think just capping in time i'm closing this poll right here and i may just want to share this so i think as per uh, you know the uh, you know feedback from you you know the convenient features or the access to technology so this really talks about the complete strength that a telco today has right so there's a complete deployment that a telecom service provider will do at their end and will keep upgrading that in terms of the latest set of features, latest set of technology, so that you can completely move, see that complete shift from a premise to a hosted environment. Definitely, we see the second, you know, most important factor that you were talking about here is, you know, the agent productivity, which definitely when I'm looking at a how, or, you know, a hosted outbound kind of a solution with 26% of you wanting to kind of, you know, vote for this, you know, particular factor being most critical. There is 17% which talks about the cost of the service, while scalability is a little lesser at 9%. So this really shows that, you know, you know, with most of these services being offered today, you know, by the service providers as an integrated offering, you know, the value proposition that they really bring to the table has enhanced over the years, right? So what they can also offer you is a combination of probably today a bundled voice with say for other data services, along with this hosted outbound solution that makes it a very compelling proposition for the enterprises today to look at, right? So the, thank you so much for, you know, posting in for this poll today. And I get back to you, Rajeshree, for, you know, continuing your presentation and, you know, to share some more case studies and takeaways for this market. Sure. Thank you, Parminder. And, and I really, I also agree to the fact that convenient use of the solution is very important while you select it uh, 
or or while you actually going with a service provider and that really works excellently with a service provider because he is the person who is managing for you at the end through through a cloud based model so it's very it makes really good sense when you select a hosted service provider or a hosted outbound dialer service provider for convenience so but let's go quickly into the one of the key case studies that we have for you so this is one of the industry or other companies that is a startup and that was you selling insurance products and this was selling this is a boutique house who, who has a larger portfolio of all kinds of insurance but the problem with this company was that since it was a bootstrap and it didn't have the right kind of funding or or, or the or i should rather say the right kind of independence on investing on it infrastructure it was largely looking for a hosted model or a way where it can actually cut down its cost so but again it had a problem of it was it's, it was a sales driven organization and it had a, um, a pretty big number of agents who were actually front lining the sales and marketing efforts for the team so the it head of, of the company was looking for a service provider who could give him could have could give a better value proposition who could have a go with an solution which would ease out its marketing processes so what it did it reached out to one of the providers and and what it did was that that's that solution that it in that it uh, involved within its ecosystem was a hosted model that actually was a pay per use which was convenient to use which was highly reliable and had a way of managing campaigns with a dashboard facility or a, a dnd management kind of thing and that that benefits was very much a visual or that was impacting the productivity of the agents or what the outcome of the company was so the agents were having a much more fruitful or productive high productivity with low idle time the daily per agents increased again the reach outs were were success the success was pretty high so in a nutshell this helped the company to a larger extent but before we conclude let's quickly look into what are the key takeaways from this webinar so with what we found is that the hosted model works out excellently for the mid market and the smb segment it works out great for the cards payment media houses works great for the retail industry and most of these companies are looking for a dialing system which is predictive which makes rigorous calls for them it it is again the customers are looking for a solution which is which has a lot of campaign management capability dashboard reporting user log management integration with crm or with other channels of communications so these are the few things that the customers are looking for today so with that actually we come to the end of the webinar on our take so maybe we would like to take some kind of questions and answers from your side and would like to hear from you so parminder if you can take over with that sure rajeshree thank you and that was i would say a good summary of you know from the product side and from what the industry is you know where it is really heading and you know kind of benefits that enterprises can really look into today you know because when you're talking about a hosted outbound dialer you know it really serves you know not just you know from a management perspective and you know shifting that power to a telco and still having the entire solution work but also when you talk about you know the overall you know business benefits it really brings a lot of value add to the enterprises right so with that and you know with some of you posting in your questions uh, and you know we having about you know 10 minutes for this i'll quickly go or uh, you know with you rajeshree the some of uh, some of the questions that are coming in right i i think one of you is really asking about if they will be able to you know get a presentation i think the webinar link will be updated and you know shared with you guys so you may have a good look at the webinar recording uh, in you know probably in some time you know another question rajeshree that is coming up is you know uh, somebody is asking that they understand that you know the outbound solution automates the calling process without having you know a lot of human interaction here but if there is a case where they really need to look at a manual dialing process to be integrated with more of an automated process that we are talking about today what is the probability of you know kind of uh, looking at it because there are cases where they, where i believe that in companies would still want some level of manual intervention to to you know probably the entire calling process so how how does it really work oh yes when you, when we say there's an automated process there is a way this outbound dialer actually automates the processes this actually gives again there's an option of you being an enterprise or you being an agent or a business manager to decide where you want the the agent to manually dial in so there are always options for you that's always open for you 
to actually come into it modify it so if you want to modify that okay let let the agent call this set of customers manually without the system calling it automatically so that provision always remains within the dialing solution where the agent can actually reach out to the customer dialing him himself so i think that that's that facility is is inbuilt in most of the cases and and most of the solutions are actually compatible to it sure thank you rajeshri so i think an, an, another question is you know talking about you know predictive dialers here being you know very common and effective type of you know outbound dialer like you had mentioned some time back so if you could highlight or suggest what are the parameters that you know enterprises should keep in mind while using predictive dialers okay that that's a that's a very fair question parminder the reason being uh, is that since it's one of the common thing so how what are the things that enterprises should look into the more the more largely on the technical aspects let's find out the technical aspects the parameter that he is, needs to look into is the call pacing pattern so how does he pace the pattern so when i say a call pacing is typically what is the speed of dialing so maybe the agent has wrapped up the first call and by that time the second caller is uh, or the second customer is always uh, already on the call so that adjustment between the agent and the next call being dialed up that needs to be decided by the business manager along with the need of the processes because the enterprise would not like that the customer is on the line and the agent is not ready so that has to be taken care of which we call as a call pacing options i think that is what i have also tried to call out in one of the slides that i have presented again you have to you being a business manager you also have to understand that today every day the number of agents over call changes and number of agents were present with their capability or their experience changes so it's a very dynamic environment so you have to adjust that kind of that today maybe you have 10 adjust to make calls and you assume that there would be a that or your need says that you have you need to call the largest set of customers so that adjustment between the number of agent to calls ratio has to be maintained so that is one important factor that needs to figure out another one important thing i think i should point it out here is the ideal rate of the agent so when i say ideal rate ideal rate is typically the time for which the, the agent is free and or he is not on the call so you being a business manager or the it head you have to decide that how much ideal rate should be you should not you would not like to overburden an agent with lot of back to back calls but you would also not like to have an agent who's idle or free would rather like to optimize it so that was the context of i think that you need an optimization story today to actually increase the efficiency so these are i think the key two three things that uh, come that is really important when you actually going a uh, selecting a predictive dialer or a solution for that say uh, and these are the technical aspects you need to look into Sure. Thank you, Rajesh. I certainly, uh, you know, I'm with you on it. That you know, while there is a lot of power that comes to the agent with, you know, the dialers, they definitely the product in itself gives a lot of flexibility for the enterprises to manage or customize the way they really need the solution, right? I have another question coming in here from some mid-size outsourcing vendor here who is looking at credit card processing, payment settlements, etc. Right? So this is they operate locally in the Indian market. The question is, you know, how can they benefit from the outbound dialer? and uh, considering that it's a banking sector right i think the, the you know the default question typically that comes from here is you know on the security level on the hosted model right so we talk about a hosted service right so how secure it is and for banking segment to kind of avail this right, right. i think it's a very it's a very good question is something security is something that everyone is is really worried about so let me first answer the first part of the question it's like how can they leverage so i think for them being an a mid sized outsourcing vendor and hosted model would be a perfect fit for them for certain reasons so what are they so since it's a pay per use or a monthly or a yearly charges they need to pay it's not a heavy investment that need to do so it's a very pocket friendly uh, solution second since it would have a scalability factor you can easily do it by you have a changing workforce and you need to have a ramp up your agents or the number of agents over on the on the floor or uh, ramp it down so that can be done easily by selecting a hosted outbound service provider on the tco front you would have a lower tco the total cost of ownership would definitely go down answering on the 
uh, security front, I think security is something that is very prime to any kind of insurance or a banking kind of customer who's dealing with a lot of customers. So let me give you a perspective. How does this typically work within an outbound dialer environment? So most of the service providers comply with all the regulations or guidelines that the PCI or the DCI industry has. They have the PCI DCI industry has a set of guidelines, security guidelines that the service provider uh, needs to uh, comply with. So most of the service providers do have a compliance to that. They have a, they do comply or uh, they follow the mandates that's been put in. Second thing is most of this messages that go or the voice transactions, the voice call that happen over an outbound dial is an encrypted kind of thing. So no, but there would not be any man in the middle attack. There won't be any a denial of service. There would be a web application firewall that's been placed that's taken care by the service provider. There would be network firewall. So these kind of attacks that the typical security attacks that today you find that would be taken care of by your service provider and more and most of them does it when I say should be taken care of, most of them actually does it again when you see this there would be cases where the customer shares a lot of credit card details the CVV numbers the bank account numbers those are actually masked those those not get gets recorded in the system or uh, within the voice system they get some masked and everything every data is encrypted so it's not easy for any outsider to barge in into the environment or to the network which is typically a very biggest concern but in this case we believe that the service provider are competent enough to actually the needs of the security aspects sure thank you rajeshri and i think we are almost you know timed up for this so we will not be able to take in further questions here but the team will revert to you with any queries that you have and you know we'll be glad if you could share your feedback you know at the email ids that we've shared with you here right so thank you rajeshri and thank you tata Teddy business services team you know rajeshri that was a great insight on the industry trends and you know, and and your thoughts on this markets right so you know while connecting to the right audience in a seamless way is very critical for you know many businesses but having a right solution is as much imperative today right so, you know when you want to really avail a lot of the associated benefits with it right and as frost and sullivan as a growth consulting company here we really see that shift happening you know in a big in a big way across the it and telecom services when i'm talking about a shift from the premise to you know a cloud or a hosted application today or hosted services so where again you know the kind of development that rajeshi was talking about on hosted you know outbound dialers has seen that you know complete path that journey right so we definitely you know believe that it is interesting time and an interesting service to look at and definitely if you have more queries regarding the service frost and sullivan and tata daily business services team will be more than happy or glad to you know kind of uh, share our feedback you know on the you know uh, to you so thank you very much for being a good audience and you know thank you so much for joining and for your valuable time today thank you for joining us today thanks a lot thanks a lot everyone really appreciate it